Hey, I'm JR, Training Manager here at Crutchfield, and in this video, we're going to give you our top five picks for best computer speakers. Uh, we've got five great choices here, the Bose Companion 2s, the Canto YU2s, the Audio Engine HD3s, the Klipsch R41PMs, and the new KEF LS50 Series 2 wireless speakers. They're all great choices for different reasons. We'll go over what makes them all great. Depending on what you're doing with your computer, you're going to want to make some upgrades. You're going to want to make sure you've got a good monitor, a good graphics card, and of course, good sound. And depending on what you're doing with your computer, you're going to want to invest more or less into that sound. And we think we've got a great choice here for just about any use case, whether you're playing video games or just watching YouTube videos or listening to high res music. We'll start with the Bose Companion 2 speakers. I would call these our best traditional computer speakers that sound much better than than most traditional computer speakers. They're a little bit bigger, a little beefier sounding, a little bit more musical. They'll connect to your computer with a simple 3.5 millimeter analog audio jack. So that's right, perfect for you. The headphone jack on the side of your laptop or the audio out from the sound card on the back of your PC. They're Bose, so they sound great. If you like that Bose sound, you're going to love these speakers. Uh, they're designed for near field listening, for sitting right there on your desk with you very close to them. That's where they will sound their best. And thanks to Bose True Space Digital Signal Processing, you'll be surprised just how much sound you'll get out of these speakers. Uh, and you'll also like the volume knob on the front for easy control of exactly how loud you want it and a headphone jack, so if you need to go completely quiet with some headphones, you've still got control of the volume right there on the speaker. Next up are the Canto YU2s. Uh, I would say these are one of the better looking of our choices today. Uh, better stereo imaging and still kind of fits the mold of a traditional computer speaker. Uh, as you can see, it's a two-way design with a Kevlar woofer and a silk dome tweeter. There's 25 watts in there per speaker, so you're gonna get a lot of sound and surprisingly deep bass from these very small speakers. Like the Bose, they are designed for near field listening, so they're perfect right there on your desktop. Uh, they will sound great at both low and higher volumes. So crystal clear detail at low volumes and you can crank them if you need to as well. They also, in addition to having a 3.5 millimeter analog input, feature a USB input so that you can connect them to your computer digitally and take advantage of the much better digital to analog converter built into the speakers. They're also available in a variety of colors. So no matter your decor, you can find one that will look right in your room. They're available in bamboo, walnut, matte gray, matte white, and matte black. So you can let them either blend in or stand out. As far as positioning on your desk, there's also a set of optional stands so that you can have them angled up at your ears, or if you have them mounted up high, you can angle them down. You can also connect a subwoofer to the output on the back if you need a little bit more bass. Next up is our choice for best overall computer speaker, the Audio Engine HD3. They look great, they're available in several finishes, and more importantly, they sound great. This is the first one of these speakers in this video I would say is great for setting up a two-channel audio system with a focus on audio file quality from a very small speaker. You'll notice on the back of the HD3s, there's more ways to get them connected to your computer. Yes, there's the 3.5 millimeter analog input, a set of RCA analog inputs. There's a USB input to take advantage of the audio file level DAC in the HD3s. There's also Bluetooth and it's Bluetooth 5.0, which is the fastest and best Bluetooth for range. So that you don't necessarily have to put them right next to your computer. Also, it's very low latency. So if you're using these as your computer speakers and you are connecting them wirelessly, you shouldn't notice any delay from what's going on on your screen to what you're hearing from the speakers. If you are planning to use these for video games, you should probably go with a wired connection for zero latency. If your focus is listening to music, the HD3 should probably be at the top of your list. Uh, there's a convenient volume knob on the front and a headphone jack with a audio file quality headphone amplifier built inside so that you can drive bigger, better sounding headphones than you can with most headphone outputs you'll find on most computer speakers. And if you need a little bit more oomph, there is a set of RCA outputs on the back which you can use to connect to an optional powered subwoofer. You can also get a set of stands made by Audio Engine specifically for these speakers. And don't they look great? They're available in three colors, black, white, and walnut. Next up, 
the Klipsch R41PMs. I would say these are our best computer speakers here today that are more than just computer speakers. Uh, you can certainly plug them into your computer the same way you can most of these other speakers, but you could also use them as a standalone audio system with or without a computer. They're the first of our speakers today to offer an optical digital input. You might use that to connect to a CD player or the optical digital audio output from your TV, or if your computer sound card has that output, you could use it there as well. In addition to the optical input, there's also some analog inputs, a 3.5 millimeter jack, a straight up set of RCA stereo inputs with a switchable phono preamp so that you can use them with any turntable. Uh, there's this USB input to connect them to your computer. Uh, and there's also Bluetooth. So if you wanna go wireless uh, to stream music from your computer or from your mobile device, you're good to go there as well. And they're Klipsch, which means they're going to sound crystal clear at both low and very high, surprisingly high volumes for a speaker this size. There's about 35 watts of power in there, powering the copper spun woofer and the aluminum dome tweeter mounted into the Klipsch Tractrix horn, which gives you that sort of live music feel. There's also a port on the back to enhance the bass. And yes, there's a subwoofer output so that you can add a sub if you want even more oomph. You'll notice they're a little bit bigger than the first three speakers we talked about, and that's okay. They are still small enough to fit on most desks with most computers. Uh, they're also big enough to give you room-filling sound. So you might put them somewhere else in the room, connect them to your computer wirelessly, and let them be your complete stereo system. Which brings us to our last choice, which is clearly the biggest and the best sounding speakers on the table, the KEF LS50 Series 2 wireless speakers. I would call them the best computer speakers that aren't really computer speakers. They're a little bit different in how they interact with your music and your computer than the rest of the speakers in this video. Let's talk about that first. You can actually connect them to a computer using Bluetooth so that they will become your computer's sound system. So everything you play on your computer, you'll be able to hear on these speakers. But they don't really connect to your computer any other way. There's no USB jack or anything like that. Their main purpose in life is to sound good playing music. And the way you'll do that is with a network connection. So you can wire them or go wirelessly into your network uh, and then have these speakers play music files from your computer or from a network attached storage drive using universal plug and play. So if you have a bunch of high resolution music, you'll be able to use the KEF app to access that music on your computer and play it on these speakers. And the D to A converter is compatible with uh, audio files up to 24 bit, 384 kilohertz. So they really can take advantage of your highest resolution music. Using the app on your phone, you'll also be able to access most streaming services such as Spotify, as well as high res streaming services like Tidal and Cobuzz. There's several more inputs on the back we should talk about. There's the 3.5 millimeter analog audio input. You can use that to connect it to virtually anything with a headphone jack. There's a couple digital inputs to choose from, including optical and coaxial, so you could connect it to a CD transport or some other digital music source. You might also connect it straight to your TV. And if you're gonna do that, you probably wanna use the HDMI with enhanced audio return channel. That's a single cable connection to your TV that ensures you get the best possible sound from whatever you're watching on your TV to play through the LS52s. Now let's talk about how they sound. These really are big and powerful enough to make a medium to large size room sound amazing. That's thanks to a lot of power. There's a bi-amplifier design in each speaker. There's about 100 watts for your tweeter, 280 watts for the woofer in each speaker. The woofer is a five and a quarter, and you'll notice the tweeter is mounted in the woofer. That is uh, Kef's UniQ design. It allows the uh, larger sweet spot and the mids and the highs to arrive at your ears at the same time with less distortion. There's also a rear firing port, which gives you a ton of bass. You probably will not feel like you need to add a subwoofer to these speakers, but if you want to, you can. There are subwoofer outs on each speaker. And in addition to sounding incredible, they also look great. They're available in four finishes, the carbon black, titanium gray, crimson red, and mineral white. So they should fit in with any decor. 
So these are our choices for the best computer speakers. Whether you're looking for something simple, maybe kind of traditional, or if you're looking for something that's a lot more than just a simple computer speaker, we've got you covered. And as long as you're here, go ahead and post a comment here on YouTube. We do look at those. We will answer your questions there. Hit that like button for this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn notifications on so you'll know the next time we put out another video. And thanks for watching.